Today I'm going to talk to you about a few assessment tools, in particular post and pre-assessment to check students' understanding using a tool called SurveyMonkey. But first let's have a look at some background to formative assessment. You can see here on, on this learning blog there are three articles. Uh, what are formative assessments, what's the difference between formative and summative, and what are some examples. Um, just briefly, um, formative assessments and why should we use them? Difference between formative and summative, we obviously do lots of summative assessment to get um, assessments for the school for the, for the uh, reporting purposes, but also you need to um, assess during, uh, before, during and at the end of students learning. Um, and here you can see a whole lot of different types of ways that we can use formative assessment. You can see there's a whole range of skills there. I'm just going to be focusing on the self-peer assessments and also the pre-assessment and um, post-assessment of um, kids' stages of learning. You may be wondering how I've accessed these. Uh, I'll, I'll quickly show you this. When you log into Grammarnet, uh, you click on uh, the blogs down there and you get this page. Um, and then you need to then go to staff learning blog. That's where all this stuff is stored. You, when you click on that, uh, you get this. Um, and uh, you're not quite there yet, but you can see under here, teaching and learning strategies in the classroom, formative assessment tools. And once you click on that, um, you get to where I started to uh, from before, and there are those links that I've shown shown you before from here. Okay, so let's assume that you want to find out what the kids know. Uh, you may have done some teaching, or maybe at the start of of, of, of a unit. Um, I'm going to use uh, business planning as my example. Um, I want to find out basically what they know already, so I can then tailor my um, my strategies accordingly. Or terms of if, if I'm halfway through a unit, I want to find out how they're going and to give me some instant feedback. SurveyMonkey is in my, is one such thing. So if you type in SurveyMonkey.com, uh, you'll come up with this. Um, if you haven't yet signed up, you should sign up. You can see that you can do it for free. Um, I've already done that, of course. Um, once you have logged in. Uh, you will get to a page that looks like this. You can see that I've been busy doing other bits and pieces. Um, so, um, okay, so I'm going to show you one of my surveys that I've done. Um, it's the business plan survey. So here's the actual survey. Once you press on it, um, I wanted to find out what the kids' name was, obviously, so I can track back to see how they've gone. And down here you'll see the things I wanted to know, also called learning inten intentions, that can be skills, whatever you want to have there. And the important thing is that you find out what they know and how confident they are. I know little, I know something, I'm confident. So there are the things that I put up the top and down here you can see all the things I want them to know about a business plan. Um, so let's just see how we can actually go about doing one. Okay, so. Going back up here, I'm going to create a survey. Hopefully it's going to be nice and quick for me today. Um, I'm going to create a new survey called uh, Health. Um, the category doesn't really matter, but you can choose one if you like. Uh, it's about the community. I will continue. Um, once you get one of these um, pre assessment survey is going, you can copy an existing one, but I'm not going to do that in this case. Press continue, <coughs> and then it's going to take me to um, the working space, and I'm just going to show you two types of questions, one I use the most. So the first question I want to ask them is, I mean I can have some um, page op options in terms of information, I can type in the purpose of what I'm doing, OK, I'm not going to do that now. Um, I'm just going to have a question. So the, the first question is, uh, what is your name? Quite easy. And it gives you all these suggestions. I'm going to close that because I've already got it. Uh, it's just going to be simple little text box. So this is all, all they need. Um, and 
and for the next question obviously we're going to have um, um, a more complex type of thing so do I want an answer to this question I'll say yes um, and I'll save and go apt to my next question okay um, in the next question I'm asked well what do you understand of the following um, the question type that I use uh, for this purpose this matrix of choice is probably one of my ones I use the most especially for this purpose you can see there's a whole lot of other um, types of uh, choices there um, you, you can um, do an, another tutorial on uh, to find out, out about this um, I tend to use this one here matrix of choices one answer per row and I'll show you how that works later all right so the row choices there on the left hand side okay what do you know about um, health healthy diets okay this is obviously for the demonstration purposes fit not all that um, in depth what do you know um, about uh, obesity um, and and so on so there's a lot of other bits and pieces um, that you would ask about what they know and what they don't know um, and if I scroll down a bit you see column choices there the bits that go across the top um, I know a lot and uh, I know some and I know a little or you can say uh, other headings you know I, I need extra help but it's up to you to put down what um, headings you want so once you've done that um, I have got an, an option to have another another comment another field um, I'd do that for example if, if there's anything else that they might uh, might have trouble with so I'll type that in um, I generally have a paragraph that'll probably do you can have obviously more lines if you want uh, you, you, we do require an answer to this question so they can't get out of it that's the whole purpose of it and I'm going to save and close this one and let's have a quick look at the preview what we've achieved so far um, I've got to put in the name there obviously if I want to edit that question or I've made a mistake um, I could go to the edit question and put something else in for example I might have for, for, forgotten something here um, I might put in something to do with AIDS Oops. Save and close it again. There we are. Once you've done that and you're happy with um, uh, what you've got, I'm going to preview and have a look at what review that um, the student would get. There it is. Um, they'll put in their name. They know a lot. And you can see that if they then click this one, because I'm going to only have one choice across these these rows here. Okay. Um, I'm not probably going to get out of that because I'm not going to submit it. Um, so they would obviously submit it once they're finished. Um, I'm, ha I'm happy with the way it looks, and now I'm going to send my survey. Right, this is a, um, the link that you will send to the students, and there it is there. So I would highlight the link. I would um, copy this, and I usually send it out to my students. So I, I have a um, class list prepared of my business studies class, for example. Uh, you put down the link, um, you then paste the, the link in, there you are, and then press send and away it goes to all the students. They would then do the, the survey um, and then maybe five or ten minutes later you're ready to analyze the results. So let, let's, let's look at the results and I'm going to show you what I've actually done with my business studies um, business plan survey so let's just find it uh, there it is so um, I'll just go back a bit so in in my surveys uh, you, 
you then go and, and find it, I mean most of the health one, but the one I'm going to be looking at is the business plan one, analyze results. So when you click on that, um, I get this. Right? They're all my questions that I ask about what they knew about certain elements of business planning. You can see that um, this column down here, I know a little about this, that there's, ha there's no bolded, there's no, nothing bolded there, which means that they generally had a pretty good idea. I know something about it, and in some instances they're also confident. You can see up here there's quite a few confidence. And when you analyse this data, you'd obviously, it, maybe this one here, you'd say there's two that have no idea out of, out of a class of 16, so that's probably not too bad, but you might just sort of quickly go over um, that. Um, here's another one. They didn't know about social benefits and community and so on. So they're, they're not too good on that, so I would perhaps um, talk to them in general about it. Um, you can also, if you want to analyse individual results, which I won't show you today, um, you can um, talk to individual students about it. But on the whole, my kids were generally quite good. You could argue that um, you know, they weren't all that confident. They know something, but they're not confident. But in the context of when I chose to um, do this survey, it was when they started their business plan. At the start, I we'd done various bits and pieces. What do they know? And then they did a 3,000 word um, plan, and I then assessed them at the end. And I had I wanted to, I could have uh, rerun the survey, and hopefully that a uh, lot more would have been confident rather than in the middle somewhere. All right, so then I would have relied on direct data to see how my kids went. I see a lot of um, value in this formative assessment tool. It just tracks the progress and, and um, then allows you to do any remedial teaching or, or target a certain group of students if they need extra help. Um, the, the summative assessment was, as I said, the business plan, which um, in, in my pre-tertiary subject obviously gets set against the criteria and I'm going to assess those summatively. That's about it. Um, just a recap on formative assessment tools under this um, section in the staff learning blog as I showed you. Um, there's also other ways of going about doing that using uh, Google Forms which I um, won't show you today. Um, and if you sort of thought I was too quickly on how SurveyMonkey worked, there's a link there and, and I'm going to add this particular um, video on the bottom there so that'll appear um, there later on. Hopefully that's been helpful to you. Of course you can reach me by, by email or anything like that to ask further questions, but hopefully that's been a good start for you. Thanks for